Well, if it isn't Goku and his annoying, noseless sidekick. Cell. Holy crap! You are back! That's awesome. To tell the truth, I always did want another go at you. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Because I'm back from the dead and ready to bury you in your wretched offspring. Krillin! Let me take care of Cell right now. You need to make sure 18's okay. Thanks, Goku. It's no good. She's out cold. Oh my, do you know her? Is she okay? I'm so sorry. She sacrificed herself to save me. <laughs> you monster! Cell, you'll pay for this! <laughs> Look at this spectacle she's putting on. So be it. We'll just have to defeat them all right here, right now. Well, I gotta say, I am happy that I'm getting a chance to fight Goku so soon. Sorry, stranger, but I'm gonna need you to look after 18 for me. Cause I'm gonna kick self butt! Don't make me laugh. Defeat me. As I recall, your power doesn't even compare to that of your better half, 18. Back down, Krillin! This isn't the kind of guy you want to tangle with! What is a husband if he can't protect his wife? Ooh! <laughs> Someone's coming. Damn right! I don't care how strong you are! Touch my wife, you're going down! <laughs> So I'm sure you'll be fine. Good training session. for hindering my true power. Cell, so, you're through! Soon, you idiots will learn the error of your ways. All you will learn. Then, no amount of regret will save you. What is he babbling about? Oh, no crap! Damn it! The bug ran off! Can't feel his power either. He's gone. He got away. Eighteen! Are you okay? It's okay. Don't worry. She's just unconscious. But we'd better get her looked at just to be on the safe side. Yeah, I guess so. 
Hey, thanks so much for standing up for 18. No, it's me who should be thanking you. You're quite strong, the both of you, really. Especially considering you managed to withstand the effects of the waves. Waves? Do you know what's going on? Oh, uh... What happened to 18? Please, I need to know what happened! Clearly instructed her to stay indoors, if she'd only listened! Very well. I was a researcher, a once proud employee of the Red Ribbon Army. Unfortunately, after those waves disabled 18, the army abducted her. As to why she was abducted, I honestly don't know. Yeah? But what about the clones? And Cell coming back? Hey, it's the army? Yes. The army is behind everything. I was researching tech that could suppress a fighter's power, allowing us to plant the spirit of another inside. The technical term is called linking, and it was perfected not days ago. Shamefully, when I learned the army planned to use it for total cosmic domination, I became afraid and deserted. While on the run, I met Android 18. We decided to flee together. Then we... we ran into Cell. 18 sacrificed herself to save me. So I guess what you're trying to say is that the Red Ribbon Army is up to their dirty old ways again. And when you tried to quit, they turned on you, tried to hunt you down. Does that sound about right? Yes. Please, you must stop the army. Damn straight you will. Why, we'll tear them to, to... to ribbons! So, you know where their base is, right? We would be very grateful if you showed us the way. I'm sorry. But I wouldn't be able to retrace my steps. I was so caught up in getting away. Ah, uh, great. Oh, by the way, we're gonna go see my friend Bulma. Wanna tag along? You see, the plan is we're gonna have her take a look at 18. All things considered, you'd probably be much safer with us. Actually, I really should be heading home. I'm worried about my family. Don't worry about me. Finding the base, that must be your top priority. Yeah, whatever you say. It's a strange feeling to be face to face with my clone. Not just the face and form, but even its power is the same. Well, there's no better training partner than this, I suppose. If this thing has the same fighting style as me, I can use that to learn about my own weaknesses. That means... Beating you will mean I've surpassed my current self. I'll use you to push myself. To reach the next level as a martial artist. Bring it on! I'm ready! Sure, you'll be fine. Don't think so. Excellent work. Get out of here! Fantastic! Yeah! Doctor! You 
Whoa! I'm uh, kind of surprised they made a clone of me. I guess uh, the Red Ribbon Army views me and my power as a valuable asset. Wait, this isn't good. I shouldn't be happy about this. I haven't been training lately, so I'm going to be in trouble if I don't take this seriously. I mean, it'd be really uncool if I lost to my clone. But since it's my clone, I should be able to go all out. I will beat this clone and show everybody that Yamcha can beat himself! Uh, is he asleep? He was exactly the same during that written test we had. Totally asleep. He's out like a light. Do you think it could have something to do with the waves? Goku! Over there! Another clone showed up! Brace yourself for the coming battle! Comes another one. Enough. What? 
recognize us? Oh, and by the way, you're lying in the dirt. Ooh! Hey! Did you save Boo? Ooh! What's going on? Boo yeah, about that. You've got some weird waves to think. Let me explain what's going on. Did you get all that? Uh, I'll start again from the beginning, okay? You get weak. Strange waves fault. You beat up bad guys, okay? One more time? Ugh, I've had it with you. How can I make it any clearer than that? <laughs> hey, just relax, Bulma. Hey, guys, let me try explaining it to Boo. You see, there's this soul inside of us who helps us fight the bad guys. So, soul and Goku is good soul? Yeah, good soul, good person, really good, in fact. Oh, yeah? There's, there's Satan, good person, too. Boo, why, good person? You, good person? You, Boo's friend. You get candy. Hey, that's okay. Homa will make you the best pudding in the entire universe. What? I will? Really? Better than pudding blue, ain't it, party? Sure. Way better than that stuff. But you gotta fight on our side first, okay? Who understands? First to fight, then we'll get pudding! You really okay with this? Do you think you could even make pudding that good? Uh, you're gonna owe me for this, Goku! Blast it all! How is this possible? Why aren't their powers as diminished as mine are? This isn't fair! How can I, the perfect being, be defeated! <laughs> A sorry sight you were, Cell. Frieza. Hope you don't mind me observing this delightful spectacle from afar. Remember, we had a deal. A deal you chose to ignore just so you could run off on your own and fail miserably. Tell me, how was your showdown with that filthy primate? <laughs> I don't have to tell you anything. <laughs> so that's how it is. Well, perhaps we can strike a deal. My subordinates have acquired information that might be of some small interest to you. Oh, by subordinates, I assume you mean that over-choreographed circus troupe? What an embarrassment they are to your cause. I'm sure you're very proud. Uh, but yes. They are called the Ginyu Force. Does this not entice you? My precious intel, that is. What say you to a deal? Tell me what you know, and I'd be happy to tell you what I know. Standing in front of Piccolo's clone reminds me of when we fought him in the World Tournament. Though, that was quite some time ago. Yeah, Piccolo's definitely changed a bunch since then, huh? He's not a bad guy anymore. <laughs> Indeed. He doesn't seem to have a shred of evil left in him anymore. Oh, by the way, did you know Piccolo babysits Pan when Gohan and his wife are out of the house? Isn't that neat? So convenient. 
He calms her down and changes her diapers. I hear he's pretty good at it. He even makes baby food for her. Definitely the perfect babysitter. Piccolo changing diapers? I can't tell which one of you is actually Pan's grandfather anymore. Hey, you sound just like Chi-Chi. She says Piccolo makes a better grandpa than me. I don't think that's something you should be particularly proud of as Pan's actual grandfather. Listen, and I don't think you should go telling people that Piccolo is taking care of your granddaughter. Huh? Why is that? Uh, well, to protect Piccolo's image, I guess. His image? <coughs> let's end this conversation here, shall we? Yeah, let's take care of this Piccolo clone and show him who's Grandpa. Me! Two minutes without bumping into one of these clones. Well, you know what I gotta do. It's time to face your opponent.
good. I can finally move again. I'm glad you're okay. But I have to tell you that things have taken a turn for the worse. If you're referring to the waves and that linking business, then I already know about all of that. Huh? But I didn't even... Look, I'd rather not listen to you explain. It was easier just to read your mind. You read my mind? You see, Piccolo used to be conning. Reading minds is just an old hat to him. Hey, just what else did you look at without my permission, huh? Don't tell me. You saw memories of me taking a bath, didn't you? I might have seen something like that amongst the jungle. What of it? What's that supposed to mean? Have you no respect for a girl's privacy? Hold up. Why would a Namekian be interested in girls anyway, Bulma? Hold on there. Aren't you a little too old to be calling yourself a girl? I am not old! <clears throat> At least now I know the state of affairs. Go Hold on. So you're linked with Goku? Well, I still gonna need you now more than ever. I'll join the fight from here. Whatever I can do to help.